Welcome back, this is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel and here we have a question about a curve um, C which has equation Y equals X minus 2 times X minus 4 all squared and we've got to show that dy dx equals 3x squared minus 20x plus 32 this is by the way um, P1, Pure Mathematics P1, June, stroke October 2020 International A Level at Excel and here we have to show that dy dx is given here so in this type of question you've got to be very careful to show your steps fully because if you don't you will definitely lose marks because they've shown you what the answer is so don't miss steps so here you're going to have y equals so just i'm just writing the question down x minus 2 times x minus 4 squared now what i'm going to do first is i'm going to expand the bracket x minus 4 squared because I cannot multiply this until I've dealt with that because we've got to deal with bid mass and index comes before multiplication so I can't do anything with x minus 2 until I have expanded this bracket that's going to give me x squared minus 8x plus 16 remember it's not x minus 4 just squaring each things in each of the numbers in here it's not x squared minus 16 or plus 16 it's x squared minus 8x plus 16 because you're going to have x minus 4 times x minus 4 which is x squared minus 4x minus another 4x which is minus 8x plus 16 or using the pattern you square each of these first and the last term to give you x squared and plus 16 and the middle term is always double the product of these two terms so x times minus 4 is minus 4x doubled is minus 8x that always gives you the middle term okay now we can expand this bracket so you have x times x squared which is x cubed x times minus 8x which is minus 8x squared x times plus 16 which is 16x minus 2x squared um, plus 16x be careful of your signs here and minus 2 times my plus 16 is minus 32 and before we start differentiating let's um, just combine the like terms x cubed doesn't have a like term you're going to have minus 10x squared and you're going to have plus 32x and you're going to have minus 32 and so we can see here that dy dx is where you add one to the power and take one from the power uh, so you multiply by the power and take and take one from the power sorry so dy dx is going to be three times x but squared take one from the power minus two times ten is minus twenty so you multiply by the power and you take one from the power that's power of one and here the power is one so you multiply by thirty two you get thirty two take one from the power you get x to the power of zero which is one so you end up with thirty two when you have an x term you just drop the x term and the constant will always give you zero when you differentiate it so there we have dy dx equals three x squared minus twenty x plus thirty two which is exactly what we had to show okay so we can see that we are correct but you should show your steps very carefully and clearly here because they gave you the answer so you can't just say go from something like this and go straight to this you will definitely lose marks okay so it's very important for you to do that especially when they give you the answer already then it says a line l1 is the tangent to c at the point where x equals 6 find the equation of line 1 giving your answer in the form y equals mx plus c so for this we need to have actually the original equation which is uh, x minus 2 times x minus 4 squared x minus 2 times x minus 4 squared and we need to know what dy dx is which is, is written up here so it tells us uh, to find the equation of this line it's a tangent to the curve a tangent to the curve is a straight line which has the same gradient as the curve at the point where it's a tangent to it so we got to find two things we got to find the gradient or uh, when x equals 6 and we got to find the coordinates of the point okay where x equals 6 so 6 and something so to find the uh, y value when x equals 6 we can say when x equals 6 the y value on the curve is going to be um, 6 minus 2 times 6 minus 4 squared so that's going to give you 6 minus 2 which is 4 times and this is 2 squared which is going to give you 4 times 4 which is 16 so 6 and 16 are the coordinates of the point on the curve when x equals 6 and the gradient of the tangent of the curve is going to be when dy dx you're going to put x equals 6 inside dy dx so you have uh, 3 times 6 squared minus 20 times 6 plus 32 okay that's 3 times let's just do this in the calculator 3 times 36 so you have 3 times 36 minus 20 times 6 
plus 32 and that gives you 20. So the, the gradient of the curve is 20. Okay, so the gradient of the tangent is 20. So we know that it's a gradient of 20 and it goes through the point 6, 16. So we can use a formula. We want it in y equals mx plus c. And we can use the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus the y value, which is 16, equals m, which is 20, times x minus the x value, which is 6. So if we expand and simplify this, we have y is... Um, y minus 16 is equal to 20x minus 120, 20 times minus 6, and then we're going to add 16 to both sides, so you can have y equals 20x um, minus 120 plus 16, so minus 120 plus 16 is going to give you 104, so you're going to have minus 104, minus 104, Okay, so you have negative 104 as your answer. So y equals 20x minus 104. That is your equation of your curve in the form y equals mx plus c. Now, was there a part c to this question? Yes, there was. It says a line L2 is the tangent to c at the point where x equals alpha. Given that L1 and L2 are parallel and distinct, to find the value of alpha. Okay, so when x equals alpha, okay, uh, line 2 is a tangent at that point. Okay, so these two lines are parallel and distinct. So that means they have the same gradient. L2 and L1, the gradient is equal to 20 for both of them. So we can take the gradient function, which was dy dx equals 3x squared. Now, let me just get it. What is 3x squared minus 20x plus 32? Minus 20x plus 32. And we have to make that gradient equal to uh, 20 because the gradient at those two points where well, we have line on line 1 is going to be 20. Now, if I solve this equation, I'm going to get uh, 3x squared minus 20x plus uh, 12 equals 0. And I have to solve this equation. And if I solve this equation here, we can factorize. You've got 3x squared and plus 12. Um, that's going to be 36 x squared and two numbers multiplied to give you 36 and the add to give you minus 20 um, let's see you've got uh, 36 and 1 no you got times 2 18 times 2 it looks like it's 18 and 2 um, 18 times 2 both of them have to be negative so you have minus 18 x and minus 2 x that's correct whoops what happened there minus 2 x so now we can um, factorize this x is common here, so you're going to have 3x here, x times 3x is 3x squared, x times minus 2 is minus 2x, and 3x times minus 6 gives you minus 9, 18x. That looks right to me, yes, yeah? so you're going to get um, 3, uh, x minus 6 and 3x minus 2 equals 0. So you end up with x equals 6 and x equals 2 thirds. So we can see that x equals 6 is already taken so this is our answer x equals two-thirds so alpha is equal to two-thirds they only asked us to find alpha they didn't say the point okay good so x equals find the value of alpha and that's the end of the question so we found alpha equals two-thirds because there's two points where the gradient is 20 one is x equals six which should make you feel at rest because that's exactly the point which we found from the earlier question that's when x equals six that's where the gradient was 20. So there's another point where the gradient is also 20, which is where um, x equals 2 thirds, and that's the point they're asking us to find. Okay, given that line 1 and line 2 are parallel and distinct, okay, so we're looking for the, the place where line 2 goes through, and that's where x equals 2 over 3, so alpha is 2 thirds. And that's the answer to question number 8 from this paper of P1. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that was clear and um, if you would like to see other questions from this particular paper you can click on the icon over here. If you want to see other questions that are dealing with differentiation and its applications for P1 you can click in this icon over here and you can subscribe to my channel from there and on the top of the screen you'll find a card um, like a card appearing at various times in the video which take you to another paper um, to do with P1. Thank you for watching and see you soon.